Ang Kabataan ng Pag-asa ng Bayan. This is the slogan that we have been hearing for years. But what would happen if the youth have limited vision for their choices of future, such as their options for a profession? Among the unpopular courses in the Philippines is geodetic engineering. What is geodetic engineering, and why do we need to promote it? How can it help in nation building? These are some of the questions that we will try to answer. We raise awareness and promote the course in the hopes of a better future for the Philippines. Sciences dream about doing great things. Engineers do them. But how can we, the engineers, build great things when our population gets lower? Our course is facing the crisis of unpopularity in our own country. We need you to recognize and be part of our family. We welcome you to Genetic Engineering. The Bachelor of Genetic Engineering is a five-year degree program in the Philippines that deals with the collection and measurement of spatial data using technologies and instruments. What do this course offers? This program prepares future genetic engineers to process and manage geographical data, to produce maps, plans, charts, and other spatial information systems. With 178 units, the program will expose students to courses like land administration and management, cartography, public land loss, and loss of natural resources, photogrammetry, and more. According to the Bureau of Local Employment, BLE, and Jobs Fit Labor Market Information, or LMI, reports for 2013-2020, genetic engineering falls under the top 20 list of in-demand and hard-to-fill occupations. This information causes us to question, if the course is highly in-demand, why is it unpopular to the students in the Philippines? First, it is perceived to be a challenging course. BS in Genetic Engineering curriculum contains many mathematics, science, and engineering subjects that are highly complex and difficult to understand. Second, the course is known to have a heavy academic workload. The students will be doing a lot of studying, project, field visits, and the like. To become a licensed genetic engineer in the Philippines, a graduate of this course needs to pass the genetic engineering licensure examination. Lastly, the course has a low percentage of passes in the genetic engineer licensure examination. The Professional Regulation Commission, or PRC, announces that 21 out of 51 passed the genetic engineer licensure examination given by the Board of Genetic Engineering in Cebu this March 2022. The results of the board exams are the basis of the status of genetic engineers in the Philippines. Genetic engineering in the Philippines is relevant for our country's development and security of the people. In what way do genetic engineers build our nation? First, we progress our country. Second, to assist our country's satellite program. Third, to ensure the safety of the people. As genetic engineers, the unpopularity of this course is very alarming. To gain more enrollees, we need each other to do these five ways to promote genetic engineering. First, revitalize the high school caravan and implement the activity at more frequent, regular intervals. Second, produce promotional materials such as videos and audiovisual presentations showing the nature and relevance of the profession to communities and the environment. Third, GE1 EarthTech can be utilized to recruit potential BSG students by inviting impressive speakers to talk about interesting issues in geomatic applications. Fourth, push for a specialized course in geospatial information management called BSG Informatics. Fifth, promote the advantages that geodetic engineering education will give us, such as accurate topographic maps, updated flood maps and flood plane maps, active distance sensing, precise orbits of satellites, and among other things. To all kabataan, we believe in you. We encourage you to be part of our family of genetic engineers. What are you waiting for? Be part of our hope for the future of yours, ours, and our country.